Whenever we see someone with a diagnosed colon cancer, really surgery in most instances is the first therapy that, that people will undergo. The most important thing at the time of colectomy is to do the right cancer operation. We want to make sure that we get all the, the colon cancer out along with the lymph nodes. And if the bowel is not safe enough to connect, then we may have to do a temporary colostomy uh, and come back and reverse it. Not all colostomies are permanent. Colostomy is really just the colon brought out in the end to the skin, such that you would empty your uh, stool uh, into this bag uh, that would be attached to the skin of your abdomen. If anyone's going to have to have a colostomy, they should make sure that they meet with an enterostomal nurse before the operation because they will need to measure and locate where the ostomy will be. And then they're an important resource afterwards in training them to you know, use the colostomy, take care of the ostomy, and provide the many hundred products that are available to patients with, with an ostomy. Do some planning beforehand uh, and make sure they're in the right location. Because again, if you have a colostomy bag right at the belt line of a male, um, it's going to be awkward. If someone does have a colostomy for various reasons and have enough colon to reconnect it, we'll usually wait anywhere from 8 to 12 weeks to reverse them. We usually uh, go through the midline incision, and many of these we'll do open, uh, and then we literally take down the ostomy, we're, we're take it out of the skin, and drop it back down into the abdomen and hook it up to the, the other end of the colon. For some of these patients, this is a permanent lifestyle. And you'd be surprised, there are mechanics, uh, pilots, doctors, a lot of people out there that have ostomies that you don't even know because they've been planned for in a very appropriate way.